Hello everyone! In this video I would like to review OSPF LSA Type 1, which is Router Link. So let's get started. Every OSPF router advertises LSA Type 1, which is the essential building block of the LSDB. A Type 1 LSA exists for each OSPF enabled link. Type 1 LSAs are not advertised outside the OSPF area, where originating routers belong. That makes underlying topology invisible for other OSPF areas. To see generic router LSA output, use the command show IP OSPF database. And here we have example of this of the output of this command. You can see the router on which it, this command was run. Uh, ID of the router, uh, router ID, OSPF router ID is 1111, process ID of uh, OSPF. And um, we can see the area and also you can see output for link ID, advertised route, router age, sequence number, checksum and link count. Let's see what these fields mean. So what these, these fields mean? First one, link ID. It identifies the object to which link connects to. It can be neighboring router's ID, the IP address of the DRS interface, or the IP network address. ADV router, the OSPF router ID for this LSA. H, the age of the LSA on the router on which the command is being run. If there is a value greater than 1800, it will be refreshed soon. Sequence number, the sequence number of the LSA. Checksum, the checksum of the LSA to verify integrity of LSA. A link count, the number of links on this router in the Type 1 LSA. To examine Type 1 OSPF LSAs, the following uh, command can be run on the router, which is show IP OSPF database router. OSPF neighbor states for Type 1 LSAs. In the output of the command show IP OSPF database router, each OSPF enabled interface is listed under the number of links for each router that we will see uh, in the example. Um, each network link contains a link type. Here you can see point to point, link ID, um, link data, link data. Uh, metric for the interface. First one is point to point link or IP address assigned. Link type is one, link ID value neighbor I router ID, link data interface IP address. Point to point link using uh, IP unnumbered. Link type one, neighbor router ID, MIP to if index value. A link to transit network. It can be shown transit network. A link type 2, interface address of DR, interface IP address. Link to stub network. A link type 3, network address for link ID value and subnet mask for a link data. And the last one, virtual link. Link type 4, neighbor router ID and interface IP address for link data. Let's review network link types. Uh, during SPF3 calculation, network link types are one of the following. Transit. It shows that the link adjacency was formed and the designated router was elected. Point to point. Indicates that an adjacency was formed on a network type which is not using designated router. There are two links advertised on the interface with point-to-point -point network type. First one is point-to-point -point link type that identifies the OSPF neighbor router ID for that segment. And the second one, the stub network link that provides the subnet masks for that network. And the last one is stub, indicates that no neighbor adjacency were established on that link. The link types, usually point-to-point -point or transit, these two, that didn't form adjacency with another OSPF router are classified as stub. When they form adjacency, the link type change, changes to appropriate type, either transit or point-to-point -point link type. On the secondary connected networks, adjacencies can never be formed and they are always advertised as stub link types. Let's review some example. For this example, I'm going to use network with six routers. 
in this network um, routers R1, R3, R2 and interface G01 of R4 are in area 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have area 0 and here we have area 56. Uh, R4, R5 BD, uh, ABRs and uh, let's see what we have on router R1. <clears throat> Show IP OSPF neighbors. We can see that the uh, router R3 with uh, router ID 333 is DR and router uh, R2 with um, router ID 2222 is BDR. Show IP OSPF database. Here we have our LSDB. We can see uh, our router with router ID, process ID of SPF, router link. Uh, states for area 1, 2, 3, 4 and here, here we have um, linked uh, type 1 LSAs. We have link ID, advertised uh, ad router, age of LSA, sequence number, checksum and a link count. And show IP OSPF uh, database router. Um, here we have more detailed information. So what is interesting, for example, advertising router 111, which is this router R1 and the link type transit network for transit network. We have IP of designated router, uh, interface IP of this router and metric. Let's see what we have next one. For example, um, from advertising router 222, we have transit network. Uh, DR03, IP address of interface 02 for router 2, and metric point to point link. Router R2 has a point to point link to router R4, uh, neighboring router ID 4444, uh, and um, router interface address and metric. And stub network, which is 10.24.0.0. Uh, which is a network between R2 and R4 and network mask 255.255.255.0 and we have also metric uh, for this LSA. This is everything I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on and show your support by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos, but for now just goodbye and see you soon.